Hello guys, good evening. Welcome to the Pivot Trade. This is the price action analysis of Nifty and Bank Nifty. And let's start with Nifty first. This is the 5 minute time frame of Nifty, okay? And before we start the analysis, I would like to tell you what I had sent out on Telegram today morning. I had cautioned all of you that even if Nifty seems to be opening gap down uh, with a major gap down, even then you should all be very cautious while opening short positions today. See, the reason why we were opening gap down was SGX Nifty. Now, SGX Nifty is influenced by the US markets. And it was US news that had affected the fall in SGX Nifty. Now, if you go to the daily time frame in Nifty, you can see here that Nifty has been on a clear uptrend. Can you see this? There has been a clear uptrend in Nifty and that uptrend has started right from uh, friday the 30th of september that was the low that nifty had made here on 20th of july that is where nifty had made a strong candle and gone up and from there again nifty has taken support and since then has been going up so you can clearly see that this uh, nifty went up from here it made a swing high there went up then made another swing high here came down and again at this swing low it has now gone up made a minor swing high came down and since then it is making these uh, higher lows so you can see here that nifty has been on a clear uptrend can you see that these are higher highs okay so the swings are getting bigger and bigger and so when this happens it's basically to go right up and above and the thing is if our markets are on a bullish trend then if nifty opens on a particular day major gap down then the chances of nifty sustaining that gap down in such a bull phase or in such a bullish uh, mode it the, those chances are slim and you, as you can see here the market actually opened below this trend line but it has actually closed above it so this was the trend line that i had drawn right we had discussed about this a few sessions ago that this is the trend line on which nifty is going this trend line is definitely still alive and this open has come below it but then the close has been above it so if you see on the 15 minute time frame you can see this so on the 15 minute time frame for the most part nifty has traded above the trend line you can see a strong bullish candle break right through into the initial trend so uh, if you go back to the 5 minute time frame on the 5 minute time frame you can see that exactly as i had said and posted in the morning about telegram it was the us market that had affected sgx nifty and that is why overnight the price had fallen and that is why uh, nifty had because nifty takes cues from sgx nifty when it opens it does not mean that in our markets when indian markets open the same kind of trading psychology will go on or the same kind of trading sentiment will go on and this is a classical example of what I was saying. So even if this particular, at this particular open, even if had there had Nifty made a red candle like this, I would not and definitely not have gone short on this particular low here. I What I would have done is I would have waited for price to come back to the high of this particular red candle. And then I would have seen if this particular high was taken out. Then somewhere here at this point, I would have traded. Because look, uh, trading against the trend is something that you should never do. If you are trading against the trend, you should be very careful of what you are doing. So, um, in intraday so for intraday purposes, it does not matter if you trend against the um, in trade against the trend, but not when important locations like these are present. What was here? There was a, a wide virgin CPR present here, right? And I had already marked this level for you. So this is where the virgin CPR as well as the S2 pivot were. So it was going to act as a strong support for price as well as the fact that it was opening very close to this trend line. Now you all know that I don't really use trend lines. I had just marked it to show that Nifty is on a clear uptrend. But whenever it happens that a particular channel is a long term channel is broken, it needs a, a, a breakout from that channel. Now just because nifty opens gap down from here and it is opening at this point and i mean that does not mean that it is a breakout right it is just uh, affected by sgx nifty's trading price so the trading price or the ltp in sgx nifty is what is going to affect the opening of nifty in our markets so this particular opening does not mean that you think that this is a breakout 
and you go shorting there no that is not what it means especially when the price gaps down so much in my experience the price most often reverses so after a big gap down if you are seeing that there is a small wick here and at that point if you see that there is a uh, there is a particular red candle that is forming like this for a while here that does not mean that you go ahead and go shorting that red candle because there's a huge likelihood that you're going to get trapped on that candle and so you should not go on immediately on a selling spree so you should wait to see where the candle is closing wait to see if there are any important levels around this see this candle did not even break the virgin cpr where was the virgin cpr coming from it was coming from that first of november this particular candle was a very sharp very strong bullish candle you can see very strong price reversal at this level and so you can see how wonderfully this s2 as well as the virgin cpr here have acted they've given nice support to price and that is where the jump has come from so that is the reason why i keep marking these levels and posting them for all of you so that you can take down these levels so please understand that you need to take down these levels whenever i post them because these levels are very important and if you can if you have observed then the, all these levels that i mark price does tend to react to these levels now these are not levels that i have invented these are levels that the market has given all of us and i just happen to bring them out to all of you so if you are finding it difficult to mark your own levels then please go ahead and mark the levels that i have posted on twitter okay now going ahead all those sellers who are short here once price comes to this level they will tend to cover their positions so they'll want to buy right they will initially try to resist this level from breaking because they are in a short position right they want the price to fall so that's why this is a strong resistance initially big players will not want their territory to be breached and this is their territory because it is within this days range right it is within this days range so they will not want the price to breach their own territory and that is why they will give a big fight here all these sellers will put in big sell orders in order to keep the price below but then the buying strength is so powerful that the price goes right through the pdl then they start applying immense pressure and there is a fight here that is why the volatility eventually the buyers win push the price up but then at the central pivot range or specifically at the central pivot the buying strength finally is exhausted so the bulls are finally exhausted and that is when the bears again start to kick in and then they start to push the price even further down so this is how you should analyze the price action when you see a day which is falling like this you should be aware that if the price were to open outside or below rather its range then the chances of the price having another fall are very slim in fact the price might tend to reverse and that is the reason why you should wait and not go shorting immediately and that is the reason why i had warned on telegram itself that this move might come also the fact that the us markets had sold off now if us market sell off i had also tweeted uh, put this on telegram that if the us market sell off that money has to go somewhere right so where will the money go that money has to go to a solid economy and what better place than india at this particular point so it should show us some inflow of funds from there basically what happens is if we see some certain good strong moves it has to mean that price action is showing us that there is a lot of institutional money flowing in now how does it matter to you which institution it is is it foreigners is it the domestic institutions it doesn't matter right so as long as you see that in the price action the price has factored everything in it has factored all the news in so just because this opening is low here is down here and that is because of i mean affected by sgx nifty that doesn't mean that you think that the market is going to fall don't do what you think you see you should see what price action is showing you wait for at least the first candlestick to be formed wait for at least the first 5 minute candlestick to be formed 5 minutes is a fantastic time frame so don't trade on the 1 and 2 minute time frame the best time frame is the 5 minute time frame on the 1 and 2 you might see some uh, small candles like these and then you might get uh, you know tempted to go short here but places where you should not go short and then as i said this trend line is existent even now because we have traded in this territory for a long time and although this particular close is not in above the uh, the trend line uh, still the daily time frame we have seen the daily candle close above the trend line so keep that trend line intact that trend line is very much alive even now 
so i wouldn't be surprised if we start uh, if we see price start trading above this area tomorrow in tomorrow's price action tomorrow is friday so a new week will start tomorrow in terms of uh, weekly options later half of the day that is uh, you can see from here that the price fell from here to here and what was the range in which the price fell we can just measure it on from this high to this uh, low maybe so that's about 100 points that nifty fell uh, when was that since 10 25 am right down to maybe let's say this low so 105 am so uh, let's say about three hours nifty was falling uh, let's say about uh, roughly three hours so uh, but from there you can see from once nifty fell here it took support and roughly from that area it really did not go anywhere so between this area now price is trading and you can see that within this area now price has traded up and down up and down so what do you think who are who do you think are sitting in this area so there are sellers here and there are buyers here so just see this this box here you just have to see this box here to understand that uh, forget about this price action now forget this forget this forget this this is old now this is all old it doesn't matter now so forget this observe this this is new so this box is new this is important now if you see that there are I mean price is going up and down this is a very good point, uh, place for you right so if price were to break out of this range here with a strong candle or if it were to break out below with a good strong candle below the PDL then the price might look to go somewhere from there so you might want to uh, see price action around this PDH also because there has been a hundred point fall right so you definitely would want to press uh, check for price action at this area and then accordingly you might want to uh, trade tomorrow so you just have to check what price action is showing you around these areas and if price starts to trade within this area i would uh, rather suggest you to wait and before opening any long positions but uh, if price opens somewhere here above the r1 then you could think of going long where the next resistance lies here at around the 18100 and close to 18180 point so that is the point where you find a strong you will find a or you will price will face a strong resistance now is this pdl a, a pdh a strong resistance uh, yes i would say keep it ready it might not be a very strong uh, supply zone per se uh, but you might want to keep it ready again this place the pdl is it a strong demand zone well not really it's not a very strong demand zone i would not mark it as a very strong demand zone because if you go to the daily time frame see you can see a good strong I mean a, a good green candle here but uh, you don't see a very strong body per se in relation to the wick here so I don't think this candle is really consequential anyway this particular candle except for the fact that nifty has closed inside that trading range again which is a very important factor so this trend line is definitely uh, intact and the nifty might start trading above this level again tomorrow so had we not seen uh, a gap down from here so had we not seen this bigger gap down i would not have been surprised if nifty had made a strong candle here and i wouldn't have, have been surprised if we had seen a trending expiry today if this particular trend line was supportive of price but uh, we did see trend coming on from both sides in today's expiry and it was a volatile expiry today but uh, that is how you should play it out so whatever whatever you do you know you should understand where are the buyers where are the sellers now you should think here who, who have sold here there have people who have sold here right so where is the an important resistance here this is the one important resistance right 18100 is an important resistance 18200 is the next is the next important resistance but 18200 was not to be touched today anyway so uh, what was the important resistance for price at this level this was it and the next important resistance was this at 18000 but price had already started trading above it so it did take support at the 18000 level right here later close to that level but if you can see that major majority of this trading has taken place around the an important level which is the 18,100 level so this is the level that has acted as a uh, resistance and a lot of trading has occurred within that area here and then again between the 18,000 and the 18,100 level here so 18,100 is acting as a resistance right now so this is an important level for you okay so if price starts to trade above this area tomorrow then you might be able to see an upside movement from here why because you know that sellers have been active from this area and from here they have again pushed price down so they are active in this area right now if price were to break through this area 
with strong price action, with strong green candles, then all these sellers are going to panic, right? And what would they have sold? The most likely uh, selling point would be the 18100. Now the 18200 are not going to panic here. Why? Because in tomorrow is Friday and price might still be below the 18200 levels. So uh, they will know that if even if price were to trade above in this area till 18200 is reached here and it is breached with a strong green candle till price action reaches 18300, these uh, sellers are not going to panic. Yet. So then which sellers would panic if price starts to trade within this area? It is the 18100 level which has applied pressure today. The sellers at this area have applied pressure today. So you know that sellers are sitting here. So if price tends to trade in this area, then these people once price crosses 18100 and reaches around 18150 plus, these people will start unwinding positions. So that is one thing that you should keep in mind. And you can uh, find your trades accordingly. So you should observe price action where there has been consolidation, where there has been an important level of a level that needs to be breached. So is there any particular box that price is forming? So if you can see price had formed this box yesterday within which a lot of trading had happened. Now today price has formed this particular box within which trading has happened. So you can see that within these zones trading has been done in a sideways manner I mean price has gone in a sideways manner right so these boxes are important whenever this particular range is broken the upside or downside even here upside or downside now here no range was broken right see the upside has not been broken today this upside and uh, downside obviously the price came from below so this downside doesn't matter now right so price went into this range again today so you can extend this box forward now if you extend this box forward you will see this so you can see that price again today it went up came down went up and within this box there is a lot of volumes that uh, that has been traded here so the important location is going to be again tomorrow outside of this area so if you see anything below this or if you see anything above this trend line then it's going to be an important area to be that you should look out for so let's see what uh, levels we need to mark based on this are there any important levels we need to take away this uh, virgin cpr box now it's no more active and forget about the, the 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 trend line being breached here keep it alive and if you are comfortable having it on your charts then definitely have it keep it alive so that you can you will be able to see the price action tomorrow if it opens above it this is the uh, gap that i am marking here below this uh, price action and we will mark i mean this pdh is going to be important here so what we will do is we'll mark that uh, pdh off and as a supply zone and in spite of the fact that it is a green candle on the daily time frame, I will keep that level because it is an important level. As I just said, it is it has traded within this range for a long time since yesterday. Even today price entered that range, it has traded within it. So that is why I wanted to keep that level ready. Again, the R1 is also going to be present right above the PDH. So be wary of that level also. And again, this level right here, which is around 18150 might act as a resistance also. So just be clear with those levels. Let's not mark too many levels, it gets very confusing otherwise, you won't be able to open any trades if you have too many levels there. You should observe price action, you should understand if price action is trying to break that level. You will understand it in the live market, especially with experience. Now let's go to Bank Nifty and what do we have in Bank Nifty here? Do we have any virgin CPR? No, we don't have any virgin CPR to be marked. Okay, Bank Nifty has a, a, a price action which again suggests what uh, I showed you in Nifty, very identical. So what happened in Bank Nifty today? Bank Nifty opened with a massive, massive green candle. Uh, just for the sake of uh, an idea, just to give you some reference here, I'll just show you the uh, range of this candle. It's 240 points, more than 240 points that Bank Nifty has gone in the first candle itself. So you can see this, this is 241 points. So there's more than 240 points that Bank Nifty has actually traded in uh, from the low to the the close of the first candle itself so it's a major major candle which showed that the price action was really really strong here in bank nifty and in fact you could see that it's it's the third candle that broke right through within the previous day's range so unlike nifty bank nifty actually showed a massive rally uh, nifty took resistance at the cpr but bank nifty after this particular consolidation when it broke the cpr it uh, took resistance again at the r1 pivot and then it reached the day high so obviously the day high was going to act as a resistance because it was yesterday's uh, supply zone. So here is the supply zone. So unless you see a strong green candle breakout of it, you should not be taking 
any trade out there only if you see a strong green candle something uh, something like this if you see a strong green candle like this then it is important to uh, understand that you can go long on this particular candle by keeping your sl here below this candle below the r1 pivot preferably but that again if you see good sort of price action so i normally suggest if the price action has started here and bank nifty has actually gone 240 points already in the first candle itself and then from the open right from here to this point if it has gone already already gone nearly 600 points then it is not really wise to go long here how for much further it is, is it going to go so whatever the uh, short covering that had had to happen because of see these people who had shorted overnight were shorted the 200 300 and 400 strikes here all these people's uh, people i mean these these traders had to close their positions had to unwind their positions at this level right once the price breached their positions so less about the 400 but more about the 300 and 200 level what would have happened here these people would have panicked now the 441 100 level was at this level so they were not really panicking because they probably had not shorted too many 41 100s yesterday also this was absolutely at the money now who would short these calls the option sellers would short the 200 and the 300 calls more likely right and the 400 calls also but when price reached that level today would 400 be panic panicky here would they really panic here price action had just about reached 400 or rather 500 so these people will panic when price action reaches about 600 or uh, about the 700 level right here then the 400s will start to panic but here most likely the 41300 and the 41200 strike prices uh, sellers would start to get panicky and so in a haste to close all these positions once their strike prices had been breached they this price had seen a short covering rally right here in the first half of the session today so right about about 11 30 till about 11 20 20 11 30 we see that the price was consistently going up but then from here it took resistance and then actually it never really went anywhere so it traded in a very tight range from there you can see this range so again bank nifty has also formed a range so if tomorrow bank nifty were to break out of this particular uh, uh, PDH the previous day high which also happens to be a supply zone we might be able to see a good move but then you have to understand that 41.677 is another important resistance here so if you open any trade here just understand that you should definitely close that trade at the 41.677 level tomorrow okay so this is what is the concept behind reading price action you have to understand that if you see any sort of consolidation in any area price is actually gearing up for a move and for the most part today apart from this particular price action which the price was anyway going to recover i mean the recovery was pretty evident that is why i had posted it on the telegram channel even before the market began i had warned all of you that you should be very wary of the fact that the prices might recover today in our markets our markets i might actually see a jump today so the opening might be altered or the opening might be affected by sgx nifty but that doesn't mean that the market sentiment in indian markets will be affected also so now going to the levels in bank nifty what should we mark we should keep this level as it is okay this is an important level and what we'll do is we'll just modify it because the pdh is slightly higher today than the than yesterday's pdh you can see the difference here this line is here the black line and this red line is here so slightly higher than yesterday and uh, let's go on the 15 minute time frame to see what levels are important here see we have seen a very good bounce from here Although the price did not really go anywhere, but uh, let's go on the daily time frame to see if we should mark it as a demand zone. So on the daily time frame, see this is the low of this candle, right? So what you can do is you can mark this low simply because of the fact that uh, as, uh, the bank nifty has actually gone within this range for a long time. And I had said in yesterday's video also and previous to that video also that uh, price will tend to go in a sideways fashion now. For a few days if it is going in a particular on a particular trend so if price is on a particular trend it does tend to take a little bit of uh, a breather but it ensures that that uh, that there is no major fall so there's no major fall here right so this particular level might be important from the standpoint of 
being a strong support for the range here the range that bank nifty is forming here so this range is important the range that bank nifty is forming might be a setup to breaking through the high here since the range is forming very much close to that high so orders might be just being accumulated here you never know but this is what it looks to my eyes so what we can do is we can just mark off this low we can lay down a support line here so we'll mark this low here which is also a support to this particular friday candle and we will make it a green a green line so you can see that there is a support there and don't be affected by uh, these uh, highs so you can see these lower highs so don't be affected by them this is not uh, the lower lows and the lower highs is not a trend uh, actually bank nifty is taking support from this level now only if this particular support is broken tomorrow then we have the next support at the 40,355 level which is this particular candles low the October 21st candle so uh, that is the immediate support in bank nifty and we don't need to really be panicky right now the situation is not really panicky so even from the investment standpoint keep investing stay invested and uh, you should not really worry about that even if you're not a trader and you're an investor even then in my opinion you should stay invested and this is a good time to invest because i feel bank stock banking stocks are going to really uh, jet from here i don't know what time it i mean how much time is going to take but i do feel that bank nifty is going to go up from here so i don't see any particular um, more important levels at this point to be marked in bank nifty and uh, this is what is important here also guys i wanted to talk to you about an important thing here uh, there i have been receiving a lot of emails asking me about how i read price action and i've been uh, requested by a lot of you that i should be starting with some sort of a webinar or something and a teaching process basically where i teach you how i read price action how i take entries and especially since i have been posting the option buying videos a lot of people have emailed me asking how i decide and how i enter the market by observing price action and what is the basis of my uh, trades and what gives me the success that i get through the to option buying also a lot of you have asked me in emails and you've also dm me on twitter asking me how i predict price when i tweet or when i put some updates on twitter as to how i know beforehand what is going to happen in price what i tend to do is i basically tend to look for trap traders and this is what i have based my channel on also if you watch my older videos i have talked about it multiple times i just tend to look for trap traders so uh, i keep explaining the, the same concepts on eod's also but a lot of them have been a lot of you have been saying to me that uh, apart from the videos also you need some sort of guidance and i should be a teacher and i should guide all of you how to take trades so i might not start with live trading sessions or anything like that but please do let me know in the comment section below uh, if you are supportive of the fact that i should start some uh, webinar or something like that based on how to read price and basically how to take entries and what are my trading mechanisms so uh, i might be able to make an option buying module out of it and it uh, obviously will be a paid module because there will be a lot of hard work that i will have to put into actually make it the way i see it and i have thought about it i feel it is going to take one or two months to actually build the module because if it has to be built then it will have to build from scratch so the structure would be like how price action goes what candlesticks mean and what sort of levels i watch out for what are psychological levels where are traders trapped so basically it will be more of psychology and how we should be benefiting from these track traders i do see a lot of interest because so many guys have been asking for mentorship and i have been turning them all down and i do feel bad about it but if it's going to be effective for everybody then i will spend my time uh, mentoring also so guys if you have understood uh, the price action from this video if you if it's helpful to you and if you find value in it please do definitely go ahead and share this video with your friends and family and please do help this channel grow so that more and more retailers will be able to benefit from the teachings that I am giving out. Please like the video and do subscribe to it and also hit the bell icon so that you will be notified every time I post a new video. So guys, thank you for your time. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.